So Yo, I changed nice. some OBS things, and now it's showing more than I wanted it to, but we're just going to roll with it. Um, it's week zero. Hello, everyone. Week and... zero, Jank. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the 2023 Opus Magnum Tournament. Uh, I am your host, Panic. Joining me on the comms is uh, OMG, it's Abyss, and Biggie Mac. Hey. Hey. Um, so we're going to start with uh, the rate solves and then do the area solves and then do showcase and then do a uh, the reveal for week one and um wait is, is it echoing or something so it still has the obs window in front oh, oh, oh right 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 okay yes uh so yeah <laughs> the for week zero the puzzle was mostly like a lore type of thing um it wasn't really intended to be particularly fun to solve necessarily, but it seems like uh, people had fun with it, so uh, that's encouraging. So the idea of this is that you have these two inputs. It's supposed to be like stabilized water, um, but in a future where something has gone wrong water. <laughs> and uh, all of the metal has been turned into gold irretrievably. So the two metrics here were... Um, area the just normal you know the area of the solution and also a metric which is the uh rate with a secondary of steady state area so the idea of that is that there's all this waste and if you have an area in the steady state it can't grow forever so you have to use this disposal so the challenge is feeding the disposal as fast as you possibly can um so let me load up the solutions here uh it's supposed to not show but Due to some last minute uh, stream changes, it will show up. So, I mean, pay, it will show up the first time if you just use <laughs> FNF10 following. So, pay no attention to the AHK thing behind the curtain. Although, I think it, let's see, yes, okay, cool. It, um, it worked. So, the first solves that I'm going to go through are some that don't necessarily fit into either of the categories cleanly. Either they're more of a balanced solution or um, in this case, it's a solve from Chrysotep, who is, uh, I believe, new, so welcome. Yo, um, new people. Yeah. So this one is called Fiddle Load, um, a new solution. And this one is actually a uh, rate solve. It's, it, ha it has 21 rates, so it's outputting um, every 21 cycles, but it makes waste. Ooh, almost. Yeah, so it, uh, it's the I right see. kind of idea. Um, and it does dispose some of the stuff, but since it has these waste chains that are going out into infinity, uh, it doesn't have a uh, steady state area, uh. unfortunately. So, but it is a cool solve, and it solves the puzzle, like, and it's using both inputs, which I guess is the, like, and it's using both inputs, which I guess. The intended strat, sort of. Using both inputs in either of these metrics seems like the wrong call, so I made sure to invent a metric where you didn't want to use them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, What's we'll a see. metric you invented for this? I mean, it's not invented. It's Lex cycles, but I, no one said Lex cycles until I wanted to build it. <laughs> oh, I'm looking forward to cycles for this puzzle. I chump change boy. So okay, so the second one uh, is by Cuckoo Fifty Two. Just called rate. Um, this <laughs> I have not looked this at this in game. It might lag a little bit. Uh, uh, what? <laughs> this does not have a. It has a zero rate apparently. Oh, I according see. to my measurement, it has four thousand two hundred nine steady state area. Wait, but that doesn't make sense. Oh no, it's it's. I guess it reaches a, a state where it stops outputting forever. So we'll see if that's true or if there's just a bug. I, I don't really know. Nine, 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 So we have this like river of atoms. It's being reshaped gradually <laughs> across the board here. And it Yeah, this is like the snow globes from Cuckoo's aesthetic songs. <laughs> So, I mean, it does seem to be constantly making output, so I'm not sure what the problem is. 
I think there's going to be some amount of bunders up and to the right that will change how this shape behaves in the snow globe way. Uh-oh. <laughs> what? Oh. Oh. What is this arm for? Where is it going? Where is it going? <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, here, let's all... Oh, here we go. So now this got moved somewhere else and now it stopped the input got suppressed so now it's never outputting again so yeah that's correct it it's it has a zero rate i guess that's a steady state area but yeah it still has a steady state area just no rate so well i mean right, it has a yeah. rate it's just zero <laughs> so th thank you cuckoo 52 for this incredible solve i'm just gonna this this track shape is amazing. The way that the atoms are moving across the board is amazing. I'm, thank you for this. <laughs> um, so let's see. I think this one is the next one by 7T Storm, who I believe is also new. Um, this is a very sort of straightforward solve um, that has a 112 steady state area, only one piston, and uh, some track. Enjoy the show, they say in the notes. Oh yeah, thanks uh, <laughs> everyone for adding notes too. It's, uh, I'll be reading them on oh, stream. Yeah, I like the notes. Definitely... Hopefully I don't miss any. Uh, forget to read them. Uh, this is rate, so reflex. I mean, I'm, I'm doing it in the rate category. Uh, basically my criteria are if it's above uh, 46 area, I'll cover it now, and then just to make sure I don't miss any. So yeah, this is... Oh, so 46 is the magic number. Vicky, <laughs> mm. <laughs> did you solve for area? I, I made no area solution, so mine will only count for rate. <laughs> Hi, Petra. Oh, hi, Petra, I see. So next, uh... does the other input just sit there? Oh yeah, maybe. Wait, and that's the <laughs> that's the bigger input too. Hold on. Yeah, you. Oh no, the other this ones get grabbed. Yeah, they both get grabbed. Oh, so, oh I see. Yeah. It does input suppression. No, this is the start. This is the kickoff stream. Okay, cool. So the next one, I was just looking through a bit, is from Matt um, at 70 area and 180 rate. So this one, I believe, is only grabbing the right input um, and actually does some conditional logic here uh, on the bottom so that it can be done. See how it's moving that water around almost that <laughs> <laughs> now it is yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah yeah and then it uh it will output soon so yeah this one's only picking the right input so actually you could uh just remove this like you don't actually need to place every reagent and uh get a pretty decent area 53 or 54 Let's see where it gets 70 compared to 53 compared to 70. Yeah, uh, it's or probably more than 53 50, because of conditionals. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Okay, 58 is the actual one once it does a full loop. Um, 42 genes, 42. Yeah, so I'm, I'm sort of poking through the because uh, the the way it works is it loads all the solutions and then ranks them um, in this case by rate and then steady state area. But there are some in that list that are actually area solves. So I just want to um, make sure I don't miss any. But yeah, this one is cool. I really like the uh, conditional logic on the output. So good stuff. Uh, so next one is from Jason. With oh, three... so Steven solve? <laughs> oh, um, I'm not sure, actually. <laughs> it might be. <laughs> Even was submitting only as a showcase. 
Oh did, yeah, it might did be it a... actually do well in Ray. <laughs> I, I think I I forget. It's I it, it'll come up. I think it might be in Showcase. Yeah, the big uh, one's in Showcase. I mean, I know he. Oh, he's made the big one to Showcase. I see. So this is a with three solve, um, submitted not as a showcase but as a rate solve. At seventy six rate. Oh, nice. Definitely with three and a half, or maybe even four. Four. Oh, oh yeah, yeah that's, I see four. That's yeah. This isn't with three. What are you talking about? Your solution <laughs> title has lied. <clears throat> but yeah, this is cool. Um. It's interesting how it's feeding the disposal with this like debonder. I guess it gets a little bit extra that it can't handle, so it debonds it and pitches it into the mm -hmm. disposal. And a lot of these rate solves, I guess as we start to see more rate optimization, um, the key challenge is just feeding this disposal as fast as you can, so it'll be interesting to see how yeah. people approach that. Now it's about at third efficiency. Mm. Okay, so next, uh, next up is actually Steven. Peeled debris no. up and around. Uh, in the notes, he says, "Look, ma, no waste." <laughs> Peeling, oh, forty-eight rate. That's how it. Would... So let's see how this works. <laughs> so it's sort of. I don't know. That, a... This is uh, less area than Kuku fifty-two. <laughs> <laughs> it's of course period four. There's a of lot course. of stuff it's going Steven. on here. <laughs> I don't. I think I have to tab through this a little bit, so... Okay, okay. On the bottom, it's... there's a lot of... <laughs> calcification? And then... The it bonds into a stick, <laughs> and then it moves the stick. Yeah, I, I... I should... this is why I need Zoom Tool. I should have set it up for this week, but I didn't get around yeah, to it. Yeah, you should have. <laughs> Next week I'll have it, hopefully. But yeah, so we have these sticks. And probably next week we'd need it. Uh, I, I mean, I, no spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, so yeah, we're making a bunch of sticks here and bonding them into this weird angle. I, I guess I, these I, are like eventually <laughs> becoming one giant stick and outputting. Yeah. There's no waste or no. By uh, outputting, I mean disposing. Yeah. So yeah, I guess the stick feeds into the disposal. And this stick comes back here and merges with the other stick. I think. Where's this stick going? This one could do with a gif, because I'm sure it gifts beautifully. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it bonds to the input as it comes in and then gets grabbed here. And then something happens. Steven is the king of conditional logic when it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, and then it moves around oh, wait, here. I see Arch 47 and fit, me doing a fist and the glitch. Uh oh. Is this a banned solution? Disqualified due to pivot glitch? Oh no, they grab the same tile and pivot, but there's never an atom on that tile. Hmm. Oh, it's, the, it's mm. right between two holds. Close one. The pivot glitch is when. Here's the output. An internal priority picks which direction happens. It doesn't crash. All right. Well, so yes, that's uh, 48 rate and uh, 1,493 steady state area. Yes. Wait, can we please... see the disposal wherever it is? Yeah, it's up here. It's feeding every two most of the time, and then there's a couple cycles where it waits for the next oh, stick to come in. Oh, there it is. Ah, okay. Yeah, so I guess check Discord for the full uh, experience. Oh, uh, yes. Here. This is a nice GIF. I will go and check now. Um, it is not allowed um, to use the pivot glitch. I, I think that's one of the rules is no glitches. I mean, it's kind of a silly glitch, but it's such a I mean, when allowed. it comes to Steven, it doesn't really matter that much. <laughs> I mean, we yeah. We have I've... yet to have a day where there's an improved record for ability to use the pivot glitch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it pr probably, if somehow it happened by accident, we'd have to talk about it, but 
it's pretty hard to do by accident, I think. Yeah. If if you have no idea what it is do and you do an accident, we'd probably have to talk about what happened. Mm -hmm. All right. So next up, um, at the same rate actually, but 122 or no, 112 steady state area is uh, Sven <laughs> Svenja. Quite a bit of difference. <laughs> With uh, this is called New Solution Four. So I guess this is similar where it loads uh, or drops into the disposal sort of every two most of the time, but with some breaks. Actually, no, here it's got some kind of interesting rhythm to it. I assume it's uh, 20... No, just 48 per tape loop since there's only one input. Mm -hmm. Is it? Wait, no, this one's the smaller one. Yeah, it's slightly smaller. You can see ARM7 doing 48. Mm -hmm. Alright, because it has to do something else yeah. to output the water. Yeah. yeah, it's not doing any conditional stuff. But yeah, it's a pretty straightforward way to approach this. It's sort of like debond the uh, actual useful thing, handle it on one side, and then toss everything else to the other side and add arms until you can get everything into the disposal. Which is, I mean, a, it's a legit strategy, and I think a lot of the optimized solves uh, will do something similar. But it's not optimized. It's main right, but that's about it. <laughs> well, speaking of, uh, next up, OMG, it's a vist. Exciting. Well, it, well, it still Damn, works. everybody's... <laughs> Minimum effort, which is still a Y'all really went for the small area. <laughs> <laughs> and now, with a grand total of one less area than the previous. So this one is interesting because... Uh, not minimum? No, it is not. <laughs> what? <laughs> it uses both huh? inputs. <laughs> <laughs> One of the inputs means you have to dispose more times per water you grab. Right. So you just don't use that input. <laughs> so yeah, one of the inputs has 12 waste on it, and the right. other one has uh, uh, the other one has 10 waste. So oh, God, I can't believe I didn't think of that. <laughs> <laughs> every time you grab one of these, yeah, inputs, minimum rate is 20. Okay, I see. <laughs> you have to dispose two extra waste. So. Yeah, because this one has 10, and you have plenty of time to grab it twice. Right, exactly. It's Because most of the time when you're doing raid, it's like, <laughs> oh, you have to place all the inputs and grab them as often as possible. But uh, and we do get to see this nice uh, sort of water spout <laughs> going across the board here so that it can come together in the output. Mm, yes. And uh, the way that the disposal works is quite nice. It's balanced. You can see the uh, effect of the extra... I spent so much time trying to balance the two sides, uh -huh. and now you all are telling me that I don't have to? <laughs> and that it's more optimal not to balance the sides? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it tweaks it out. Like, you can see the I can 12 afford to do this. <laughs> on this side because of these arms 31 and 32, uh, having the two extras and sneaking them in. And if it, you didn't have to sneak them in, then that would be uh, the minimum weight, which is 20. Yeah. <laughs> this is full rate by Zandorf at uh, 169 steady state area. Oh, so even if she did have max or earth, it, you know, it's right the place no so going to change. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's Everyone still... in perfect rate B area. <laughs> so Thank it God I didn't optimize the second area. <laughs> Yeah, although it, it would be kind of cool to see a uh, area optimized both inputs solution, but yeah. So yeah, this one is um, sort of bringing the input all the way through the solution, and it does achieve the minimum rate because it's feeding the disposal at, as fast as it can and only pulling the uh, input with a better ratio, but it's doing a lot of swings. like. Here you can see ARM21 is sort of taking this piece of the input and swinging it pretty far along the outside. So it ends up taking a pretty big amount of area, but 
does manage to feed the disposal, which is not necessarily the easiest thing in the world to do, because you have to be putting something in there every single cycle. And here you can kind of see the approach of every atom sort of, there's just a bunch of arms, and it takes the atoms where they are and puts them in the disposal. It's not like there's just, you know, four arms feeding it or something. There's a bunch of different arms. I was, uh, temp Then this worsening. I think your because, audio yeah, gate some is a little bit. cadence for the disposal. But I was thinking, oh, but what if somebody doesn't realize that there's a red herring in Oh yeah. That the number is uh, <laughs> so I didn't say that, and we know now there was at least one person. <laughs> I would have half bothered anyways. <laughs> okay, maybe I'll let him. <laughs> but yeah, this one is it. It achieves the minimum rate, um, but you can definitely do better on area. So next up is Cadspin with small optimizations. Just, just small optimizations, not, not a lot of optimizations. Just Feline rotation. <laughs> so this one's kind of cool. Uh, it takes the input over a sort of line with a track and then handles the actual useful output on here while making this big brick, which it deconstructs Ooh. on this side. So I like this. It's like a good way of separating out the problem so that you can solve the puzzle and uh, get the Disposal bed at max rate. Mm -hmm. And yeah, also the way that the disposal is fed, it's balanced. So this top and bottom both have the same amount of waste. Oh. So you can Ooh, have yeah. four arms that are feeding the disposal, mm -hmm. which also sort of simplifies things. And so next up we have Tular at 138 steady state area. So this one sort of swings the input across a bunch of bonders, and, or a bunch of uh, debonders or unbonders, I don't know, <laughs> whichever one it is. And you can kind of see the way that this puzzle was constructed, I feel like. Like, here's arm one, this piston. Um, and then it's doing something very simple. There's these sort of regular arms here, and then everything gets swung towards the disposal where it turns into this nest of track. I love the track river. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, track rivers are amazing. <laughs> uh, Tular says, once I started down this path, I embraced the cursed track as much as possible. Cursed track saves area. Yeah. And it's pretty cheap too, I guess, uh, compared to a bunch of pistons, you can just have normal arms. I'm not sure how this one measures up in terms of cost, but... I can see at least three breakpoints where the track could fully validly be split, but mm. there are also a handful of points where you need that track joint, and so... Like 9 and 17? Nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I guess 19 is doing conditional logic here too, so that... Uh... Yeah, the... All oh, right, it's a ten long loop. Yeah, so it's like one half t, I guess, or one half p. I am not used to the new terminology. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so next up we have Madmaster at one thirty one uh, steady state area. There's a couple of imager links in the notes, but I don't know. I guess I can paste them in chat. There's Madmaster's notes. Oh, oh just link to images. <laughs> Madmaster is someone who does not like building it in game. All right. Is fully fine not using the game. <laughs> oh yeah, so this one does a similar that thing for Flake Salt. <laughs> oh yeah, it's. Uh, so this one does a similar thing where it sort of picks up the entire outside as a unit, but and then handles the output sort of on the side here. But it does something really interesting, I think. Um, which is it? That too tall girder. Yeah, exactly. It's like a this waste oh. pipeline that is handled in like because it doesn't actually matter what the atoms are here. It can just handle it in a completely uniform way um, and just move things around and push it into the output. That's incredibly satisfying. Yeah, I, I love it. 
I guess this is the kind of solve you get when you work things out on paper, instead of just placing things uh, willy-nilly. Paper, you want to use as little effort as possible. Mm. Also, I like the Critelli here. Very nice Critelli. Ooh. Oh, it's under your head. <laughs> <laughs> right, on stream, it's like, where are you even pointing? And they finally see your cursor underneath the uh, icon for your Discord user. Oh, wow. <laughs> Is the icon for your Discord the same image as the icon for your Twitch, but a different part? Or yes, that's right. Part? That's right, yeah. Cool. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's from a, a Ludum Dare game I made a long time ago. Oh, right. huh. Anyways, next up is uh, 42 Genius 42 at um, 105 Steady State Area. This one is called Rate Railgun. And uh, I think you can see why. Everything's just oh. moving one direction. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> um, so there's some notes here. Empty arm rotations in the top track save one area. So... I guess uh, I probably this tile of area here um, when my cursor shows up um, is saved by empty arm rotations. Proud use of the Z track enabled me to remove a whole arm that was initially being used to dispose of, to dispose of Vitae. Piston arm use reduced area by two at the right hand side and four for two top loop pistons. There are many drops and regrabs to allow everything related to disposal to function within 10 cycles. So yeah, I think that's pretty common for these solutions where everything's just sort of dropped in the general vicinity of the disposal and then uh, handled by arms that have access to the disposal. Cool. So next up we have Mr. Puzzle at 95 Steady State Area. Uh, the solution title oh. is Frag, uh, which I guess F is finite. It's like something we've been talking about as a way of restricting puzzles uh. um, in the same way as this one is. So get that started. So this one makes this cool C shape <laughs> in the bottom here. And it seems to be balanced. Yeah, the disposal, there's four arms that have access to the disposal and they're pulling from the left and right hand sides equally. Mm -hmm. so, I really like the C shield. Yeah. And the way that arms 5 and 6 grab it from inside and rotate it around like that is satisfying. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's kind of a natural disassembly method where you just break two bonds to get the top part, which is five things, uh, and then the bottom part is another five things. So it's easy to feed the disposal <clears throat> in a balanced way. Mr. Puzzle says, Critelli is not hit. Indeed. Very nice. Oh, nice. This is a very aesthetic solution. Good job. Next up, we have uh, Nuachar with uh, 90 steady state area. This is another, I guess, railgun type uh, solve with the addition of this too high waste river. So it's kind of a similar to some of the earlier solves we've seen. Nice track loop to handle the too high river instead of as beautiful as Mad Master's solution was. I think it might not have been the best area you could do that with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the fact that it's grabbing both sort of uh, side by side and then moving them in like that. Very cool. Getting the water out of the chunk of gold is also pretty elegant. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it has to like wait for a cycle to swing it out of the way, and the swing sort of almost collides with the next input coming in, so... Very smooth. Alright, next up we have Kevlarn at 90 steady state area. A tie. It's decided by gold. <laughs> Tertiaries matter. Yeah, apparently. Now here we have this uh, tri arm, which is cool. Personally, a fan of the tri arm. 
And yeah, I guess this also has just four arms uh, with access to the disposal. Though in an interesting pattern, it's like there's these two three length arms and two two length arms. Huh, yeah. Pretty good is there a track well. at the top? Yeah. Harpy, I was talking about how like almost thought it was trackless. Yeah, it's almost trackless. It's got a Where's single track. Single, oh, I see uh, it. Track oh, track I see here. it. To get the first few uh, bonds going. Get the first few D bonds in. <laughs> while mostly suppressing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, input suppression is very important to this puzzle. I guess it's a good opportunity to learn about that if uh, we're not suppressing we're not. inputs during a rate puzzle. What have we come to as a society? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So next up, username void at eighty four steady state area. This is called half hour RA. Uh, splits the waste into two mini pipelines, allowing for much easier disposal. Each pipeline only has to dispose an atom every two cycles. 16th place in half an hour, it's not bad. Yeah. So yeah, this also balances the waste, so there's five on one half and five on the other half of the disposal. And swings it across uh, Unbonder Field. One of the things that I think is really important to getting the area lower from here is getting as minimum of a distance between your input and your disposal as possible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this one, I guess, does an okay job of that, but... Yeah, it's better than, I think, the ones before it. Mm -hmm. Okay, next up is Not Great uh, with 82 Steady State Area. The something, is it truly better than nothing? So yeah, this one it's much closer, the disposal. Ooh. Yeah. I think my main problem was my original solutions were far too ambitious and put it like almost right next to it. Mm -hmm. Space for one arm in between. And it's like, I can't move over it because it'll always have an atom over it. <laughs> yeah, this one, I don't, the way that it's moving stuff into the disposal is sort of chaotic. But like it's not balanced on both sides. But it works. Yeah. Uh, next up is Haxton with a host solve. At 82 steady state area. Haxton is a playtester this year. That's right, yeah. Oh, feeding it all back through the input. That's a really good uh, suppression tactic. Uh huh. And yeah, this one, on one side, the uh, disposal is fed by this nice track loop with four arms on it, and the other side is just the standard two arms. It's a very clean disposal feeding. The forearm track loop is a classic way of getting motion every two. Hmm. Yeah, I guess this one mostly just loses area on the fact that it has to do all these fancy moves across the uh, the input while it's being suppressed. But the actual deconstruction and disposal parts are quite optimized, I think. Uh, next up is Pizzazz with uh, 73 steady state area. That's a drop. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, sort of a... Oh, wait, you said 78. I thought you said 73. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> 78. Um, steady state area. And this one is another... Is I that guess... a new player? Um, They've been doing a lot for the daily Pareto challenges. I think they started submitting Pareto. Uh, didn't speak in Discord before their first couple, and so people were like, oh, who is this pizzazz? <laughs> but they've started talking more, and they've done some instruction optimization, too. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, their their name sounded. Welcome familiar. to the tournament, though. 
Yeah, welcome. Um, so yeah, this is another, I guess, uh, railgun type. It's moving linearly, uh, with the output itself being handled at the bottom here. Seems like a pretty clean way to decompose it. It's nice how the uh, water sort of comes out of the bottom without too much hassle. You don't have to swing it around through anything, so... Yeah, I mean, I, I think this one mostly loses area just because of the amount of track that it needs. And there's some empty hexes where it's just sort of has to translate it uh, off the output like that. But... A very clean approach. Okay, next up is, uh... I, I don't know how to pronounce your name other than that. Uh, at 77, Steady State Area. Oh, <laughs> I was like, wait, what's this username? <laughs> <laughs> is, is, don't, don't you feel like that's how it's pronounced? I, I don't know. There's no vowels. <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay, I, I got it. <laughs> During the weekly, there's always witch push. <laughs> it's very satisfying. <laughs> so yeah, this one looks very compact, um, and it. Yeah, I guess it loses a little bit again to the number of. I guess there's a lot of sort of empty hexes in the middle here that look less empty because of the uh, EQ glyphs on them. The way that the input is swung back and forth at the bottom here is very impressive. Just sort of barely missing colliding with the gold uh, and then being output in the middle of this. middle of all the. Uh, debonders and bonders there. So yeah, very cool. Oh, that's a sneaky classification. Oh yeah, it's very sneaky. And outputting. Right, yeah. Down. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, next up is uh, Spiritual Shampoo at 76, Steady State Area. I hate it when my w water is polluted by gold. Um, oh, and this one also has a note. Prediction, the winning solve will have 69 area. Spiritual Shampoo. We'll see if that, that happens. Oh yeah, look, uh, oh. RP, RPO also uh, made that prediction in chat just a minute ago. So yeah, this solution uh, is also using the too high uniform disposal thing with the, this time with um, these track loops that are only have three arms on them. So I guess even more cost optimized. Uh, very few pistons, only one piston, or no, two pistons in the whole song. And it's another solve with the output sort of in the middle of everything, so it's a uh, cool that it's able to rotate all the way around like that and still make it before colliding. A track loop that is not actually a loop. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> that track loop with arms four, seven, eight, nine, ten <laughs> on it is not a uh, not need to be cross a loop. over. No, you could break it up. Um, Join the tracks. Yeah, here and here, and it would still be fine. But it doesn't save any cost, and mm -hmm. it's fun to look at. But yeah, so next is uh, Goodbye Galaxy at uh, 75. Steady state area. RPO really pulling for the 69 area solution. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, getting the water out really early is oh. a strat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one... I like 9. It makes that sort of C-shape and then feeds it to arm 9. Similar to, I think, was it Mr. Puzzles? <coughs> Saw that did that? 
Yeah, there was Mr. Puzzles did that. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I don't, I don't think the waste is particularly balanced here. There's like this sort of gold that Arm 16 moves out to, to balance the two uh, sides because the top has four and the bottom has six, I guess. Okay, next up is John John at uh, 73. I really so like many the, new people. I really like the way that uh, the output is fed here, just watching it. It's very satisfying. I believe John John was second to Calioresis on a TI puzzle in the week. Guess I haven't been paying attention to the week. Big wise gold, I think it was. Mm. Uh, I see. And arm seventeen. Pay pay close attention to arm seventeen. Uh... It's a one use arm. Yeah. So not every uh, atom is put into the disposal eventually. Steady state area does not mean no permanent waste. Good job. Yeah, <laughs> I also really appreciate that the Cartelli pocket is five atoms that don't count towards area. Oh yeah, look at that. But yeah, this it's almost like I don't know. This this solve seems to have to place quite highly for how like clean it looks. I think a lot of the more optimized solves look very messy, but this one this looks very clean. Mm -hmm. So next up we have Ebenov at 72 to 2023, the year of RA bit. Rabbit. Year of the rabbit. This one breaks off four on the top and has six waste on the bottom. So it has sort of a bunch of arms feeding the disposal. It seems to have some conditional logic for the output, so it's a 10 cycle loop. Pretty cool. Yeah. I don't know, it's it seems like there's not that much to say about this one. <laughs> Just very clean. Yeah. Uh so next up we have at sixty nine Ravioli. Yo. Can it go below sixty nine? I mean this is uh number eight, so I, I, don't know if, I don't know what that says. It goes lower. <laughs> I, I can confirm that. One. Sorry, RPO. Yeah, it's a, a shame. I, I do like the swing that this does out of the out, but I wasn't really paying attention. Maybe other ones do it too, but it sort of fits into the shape. Oh, yeah. Oh, actually, it's not. Yeah, it's not doing any suppression at all. That's interesting. The 69 without suppression is rather impressive. Yeah. Yeah, it, it 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 does do the output uh, on the side, so it doesn't have to deal with swinging the uh, stabilized water over a bunch of stuff that's in the way. And it, yeah, it seems to just be dropping stuff into the waste and into the disposal, sort of willy nilly as it can. Opportunistically. Mm -hmm. What's nine pistons between friends? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it has very few wasted uh, squares of area, because, or not squares, hexes of area. Just these on the side and this one in the middle. Uh, but I, in my opinion, uh, this one would, would have been a good place to put the Gratelli, but that's just me. 
Arm six has a cool swing too. Oh yeah, it swings across the uh, track loop. Okay, next up um, we have Caliuresis at uh, 68. So sorry to the 69 fans, but it does go lower. Damn, there's only one solution with 69. Yeah, but Kali even named it Undershoot. They know it. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, this one has a cool uh, V track up here, I guess. And a big track here that is not a loop. It looks like a, a icon in a car for a seat or something. Yeah, Ravioli, you get cool points. And this one doesn't spend a lot of time suppressing the input. Uh, it doesn't really do a lot of work <clears throat> on top of the input, it sort of moves it off and swings it into the main area without... I guess there's one unbonding that happens. It almost seems like a shame that it has to translate once and that the input can't just be that tile one to the left. Uh huh. But it would then get crashed into when you pivot the moors. Hmm. Oh, yeah, right, right. All right, so next up we have at 65, pretty decent drop, uh, Bambi. Solution titled Q Jumping. So this one is making the sort of too high waist stick, but in a very compact way. Uh, Where most of the really nice. yeah most of the bonds in the stick are like already in the input. Oh, I can see why it's called Q jumping. But is something? Uh... Arm three inserts something. Oh yeah. In front of the line. <laughs> that's that's quite, and it just barely misses arm two there. Mm -hmm. I also like that it makes a different choice in the pathing with arm three to make either a salt or a water arrive on the debonder so that there doesn't need to be a external oh, yeah. calcifier, that the calcifier gets to be in the machinery. Oh, that is cool. Yeah, it's just whether it uh, retracts first or moves on the track first. Makes that nice. decision. Very, very cool solution. Okay, next up we have spec 98 at 64. Uh, Steady state area. It's called a stack of area. Starts out with a spinning two arm. Go figure. It is pretty cool how it moves that stick of two gold at the top past that two arm in the track. And then the next one gets grabbed by the two arm. This looks like what would have happened if I finished out my third design. But it took me four designs to even get something completed. But my the by arm on a triangle track handling gold that broke off in the first debond is something I had. Interesting. This reminds me of my, uh, my area soft disassembly. <laughs> hmm. Arm 12. The order that it does it in. Oh yeah, I guess arm 12 has access to the uh, disposal, but it can't swing directly the second time, so it has to retract, swing, and extend. And arm 14 waits to reset, so it can do that. Uh, no, arm 12 does retract. I think it's arm 14 that doesn't retract. It's just like an optical illusion, because they're overlapped on each other. All right, next up at uh, number four with 62 uh, steady state area is Biggie Mac. Yeah, I figured I was coming. Ooh. I'm curious to see who gets the podium though. Yeah, this one but is yeah, very- I was targeting 60 and I had to add a track loop in the bottom left, which was originally just a single piston because I couldn't get timing to agree. 
Oh, yeah. Getting everything to hit the disposal when it's close to the uh, nest is hard. I, I do like how height-like this is. It's, like, very flat. <laughs> I like the two island arms in the middle. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the two island arms in the middle were the things I committed to on Design 4 so that I could break it off on either side of them, and it works because they both had access to a lot of important stuff. Oh yeah, and the title of this is A less than inf at inf uh, ra. That's an another way to write the f restriction that uh, we saw. Looks in. like we've got more, the new terminal terminology oh, notation. We, yeah, we were, yeah we're, the manifold split conversation was on my brain for most of the last week, so when I named it. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. There's so much new notation. <clears throat> All right, uh, now number three uh, at fifty nine is Yo-Yo Nova, or Nova. Whoa. The solution called Sub Waterer Heist. All right, this is a name that I will be keeping in mind. This is a very <laughs> cool solution mm -hmm. in high skill. This is definitely of the just get stuff into the disposal by any means uh, necessary type of solve. And it does manage to separate out the uh, output handling pretty well. And I'm sure there's some cleverness in the uh, pattern of unbonders, but it's hard to really break it down very well. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you built a puzzle where you just have to do a lot of random stuff. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, it's definitely uh, definitely my fault here. But... Well, the puzzle design process just basically drawing random shit on the canvas and changing the amount of waste on each input. Uh, I, I, so the process was like, I wanted it to be like stabilized water. So there had to be two waters input and then stabilized water is the output. Um, mm -hmm. And then I wanted to have a balanced number of Vitae and Moors. I wanted to have some Quicksilver in there, <clears throat> but I wanted it to be mostly gold. And mm -hmm. then from that point, it was just sort of what looks the most like annoying, aesthetically, <laughs> or like because the whole point of the puzzle is like to to introduce the lore thing of like alchemy is annoying right now, <laughs> so that's uh -huh. the vibe I was trying to go for. Yeah, I hope that's not how the puzzle continues and how the tournament continues to be. I, it's. <laughs> Well, I, we're introducing the first week uh, not too long from now, so you'll, you'll see. I'll uh, see. In chat, Yo-Yo Nova uh, telling us that they got the game three weeks ago. Oh, wow. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Y'all better watch out. Definitely have to keep you in mind then. All right, number two <clears throat> is uh, Fiesta. With a ah, yes, that was my picture first. Oh yeah, <laughs> with a, a tie um, with Yo-Yo Nova, but lower cost. Ooh. Yes, there's also someone we have to look out for. Mm-hmm. All the yeah. sub sixty because the fifty-nine number got a pile. Right, yeah. Yeah, it's interesting. I think this is the only tie for a secondary. Oh, yeah, no, so there's... another one before. Nuchar was tied with um, Heavenland. Oh, I see, I see. Uh, there's also notes for this one. Uh, I had two main goals here. First, deconstruct the small input into atom pairs as quickly and compactly as possible. Pairs make disposal queuing easier. Second, handle disposal with only five arms, each working twice per 10 loop. I uh, achieved both goals in only two cycles and 25 area. This machine renders the input down to 4 plus 2 plus 2 plus 1. It also reuses one of the initial deconstruction debonders as a disposal queue, which helped take this idea from 68 area down to 59. 
There is one problem I couldn't overcome the huge swing of the four atom fragment. Because of that weakness, I think that a better puzzler could possibly implement the same strategy in as little as 55 area. Let's see if the winning solve is 55 area. All right, so the winning solve, number one, from Velvacane, the 58 area. <laughs> it is a drop of one, but not quite that low. Uh, Velvacane was Yo, a Yo, first win for Velvacane. Yeah, good job. <laughs> really solid throughout. I think they were the top placing first time entrant. Yeah, they were. I forgot what placement they were. Let me check. They were top 10, maybe even six, like top six. Hmm. Yeah. Somebody has a squeaky <clears throat> item squeaking in the background up there. That's Sorry. probably me. All right, grabbing it by the moors in the beginning is interesting. Oh yeah, so there's notes here. Arm five has a tight swing. Arm 7 is an extra area, but saves 2 by allowing output under the main swing path. Alright, I turned out input suppression. Uh, not input suppression. <clears throat> Moist suppression! <laughs> so, yeah, this is first place for. Uh, Alright, so good job, Velvet Cane. I won't be surprised if Velvet Cannon wins an actual week this year. Uh -huh. I also want to call out the Cortelli placement. It's very nice. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that's true, that's true. And yeah, the way the uh, output is delivered is slick. It sort of dodges a lot of stuff. I feel like output and disposal had their usual roles reversed, because you kind of yeah. want to swing over disposal in a typical puzzle. But the disposal always has an atom over it, so you can't. But you don't want to swing over the output. But this time, the output's very infrequently filled, mm -hmm. so you can. Right. Basically, a puzzle with a one atom output and two atom waste. Mm -hmm. All right. Cool. Well, except the one atom output has like six waste hexes. Right, right, yeah. So it's like hard to route around because you can't use a one arm to drop anything in there. Um, you have to use like two arms and stuff. Oh, hey, Velvet, a lot of the top competitors don't join in on week zero. Pentapig will, Pentapig will be coming, I assume. Yeah, I, I guess we'll see. Okay, cool. So that's RA. Um, I will be back in a second. I need to get a drink of water. Um, Remember hydrate people. Yeah, and then we can start the uh, area solves. <clears throat> All right, I'm back. So let me load up the area thing. Luckily, it takes long enough to load that. Take us all a glimpse. Oh, I know that was the previous. Yeah, that was the last one. So let's see. Let me go through these until I get to the get to my area cutoff here. Okay, cool. <clears throat> so area is a more standard metric than the previous one, which I guess is... I like the area better. Yeah, it seemed to be a little bit... Probably because I fucked it. Fucked the other metric <laughs> up. <laughs> you just... Okay, so as I spoiled earlier, we'll start at 46. 
<clears throat> and this one is by Zinfor. Uh, Not less people submitting for area. So this one. In fairness, I think Matt also submitted for area, but had the two input problem. Although Zinfor uh, is having a two input problem. Yeah, this one also has the two input problem. Yeah, this is surprisingly good for having an extra input. Would I actually use both of them? Sure. So far, it has debonded both of them. <clears throat> and it calcified that one. Yep, it's going to use both of them. Wow. Ah, there you have it. Yeah, I, I'm assuming this is the best uh, both input area solve. Talking about he better have not have gotten in. I don't know what is here area. All right, next up uh, is at 31 area Cadspin solve named Ufis. 31 already. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, it helps when you only place one of the inputs. Uh, so sorry if you didn't know that that was possible, but yeah, you, you don't have to place all the inputs. You, you do have to place all the outputs, but not all the inputs. Um, <clears throat> so this, uh, this, is a, this this has to have to use extra space. Yeah, because it's only 28 right now. Um, she said, accidentally submitted this before without filling in any info. Whoops. Not marking the extra area with equilibrium SMH. Yeah, kind of cringe. We see some interesting suppression tech, though. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so this one is using one arm on a track and uh, minimum glyphs, but some extra area. I was wondering if like single piston or double piston is possible. Yeah, it's definitely so. Since the secondary is cycles, you generally want to use rather than a uh, piston on a track, you'd rather use two pistons because then you can share work and do things faster. Yeah, but I didn't know if there was enough space to do that. Maybe yeah. somebody else will show. Yeah, we'll we'll see uh, what people are able to accomplish here. So let's see. Uh, next up at, um, I believe that's the same tied area is uh, 42 genius 42. You really like these uh, horizontal translation style solves, don't you? 42 genius 42. Oh. Uh, yeah, we wheelbarrow area 31 is the name of it. This was the best I could do. Maybe many found this layout. I cannot see better unless there is something really bizarre that involves weird rotating on a single debonder rather than sliding. And yeah, you you can solve this with just a single debonder. But I believe there is some weird rotating involved, for sure. It's basically a crystal with some missing... It's basically an alchemical drill with some missing parts. Hmm. Or maybe added parts, I don't know. I guess it's it's uh, smaller than a crystal would typically be, so... Oh, it's... Except for that extra gold that just sticks out like a sore thumb. <laughs> Okay, next up is uh, Jason with 30 area. Um, seems to be a width solve. This is 0.5 oh. width above minimum, but I couldn't find enough access points otherwise. There can be no disappointment when there is not deep love, Martin Luther King Jr. Yeah, this one puts the uh, that salt on top of the disposal there. Seeing some interesting disassembly methods. That I wonder if I have missed. Hmm. <clears throat> and 
And yeah, this one, oh yeah, the only uh, hex it uses that's not marked is the Cretelli, which is this touch. Oh, it uses crit. Ah. Uh... <laughs> RPO with the layers propaganda. <laughs> With the recent metrics discussion, what there's been some uh, talk about changing the width metric to be instead a layers metric, where you uh, look at uh, basically rows of the solution. Uh, whichever the biggest row is, is then the layers metric. Yeah, right. It's an attempt to unify width and height. So next up at uh, 30 is uh, Spiritual Shampoo. You may not like it, but this is what peak performance looks like. Three debonders. Oh, oh boy. Single, uh, no track. Yeah, one arm, three debonders. The, I guess, is that a no axis? Yeah, that's a no axis debonder. When you talk about axis, it's like, uh, which- No axis. Hexes of the right. If you have more than, if you have more than one debonder, you can afford to have some of them do no access. Because mm -hmm. yeah, eventually you do have to grab a single atom uh, to bond the output, and also to get the waste into the disposal. But um, you're trackless. Yeah, it's one single arm. It's the first single arm solve. I surprise that does better. Uh, in Uh, oh yeah, there's all of the debonding in parallel is a huge improvement. Yeah, fair. Mm -hmm. uh, there's notes. I got bored, so I made it six p to save twelve cycles. Also added a bonus feature after completion. <laughs> oh boy, let's see. I guess this is how you get a. Uh... Pressed alt. Yeah, I pressed alt. You get uh, you get us to watch all six products by teasing a bonus. <laughs> It's 1494 cycles, so not too much longer. I was trying to remember why I had Cheat Engine open recently for Opus Magnum, but it was Voltaic Coil TI. Mm. Uh, I did not do area for this, so there's nothing for Cheat damn. Engine Opus for me. You know, what was it going to do? Oh, nice. It's completely, uh... They have a lot of cycles for 16. No, it's, uh... It's just doing nothing oh. at zero rate. <laughs> nice. Very cool. Put things in places you never grab. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Just suppress the input forever. And okay, next up, we get down to 29 area. Uh, with a solve from... 29. Guilty bystander Dropping call. down, let's go. Mm -hmm. Terrible AI. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it actually does. Oh, it's half P. See, Shadow Cluster, some people, Shadow Cluster, some people like AI. <laughs> that is pretty cool. You still gonna tell me that AI was a mistake though. Oh a lot of Yeah, 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 it is. Not just one oh. I think. Yeah, what T is this? So now we're Probably back half. in one. I don't think it can do quarter. I think it's just half. Yeah, it's uh, one per input, so half. Yeah. Nice, nice uh, AI solve. Uh, next up, we have. Does it actually save programmer hours, though? <laughs> I 
That's a good question. I, mean, I know it, I spent a lot of time on AI and it was slow and took all of my time, so no. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess it uh, it feels cool to have your. It feels solution. cool, yeah. There's that. <laughs> Always important. The good thing about having a large disposal is that uh, you get plenty of space to put intermediaries. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and this one is actually using uh, min glyphs again, as opposed to lots of debug. So it's got a bit of extra space. Next up, still at 29 area, we have Bambi. Here we have two arms. Uh, which I guess explains Ooh. why the cycles are better on this one. Because mm -hmm. it can trade off stuff it's working with between the arms and do things in parallel. A woody bonder. Two arms, two debonders, and no track. And no wasted hexes. Is this the last 29A then? Probably go I mean, faster. Um, I, I, username I might have made a solution that's faster. <laughs> Spiritual shampoo solve was faster than this. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, at this uh, primary. Show previous submissions. No, I had a sixteen fifty three. It wasn't faster. But it was one less area than this. I guess it waits until the end to calcify too. Interesting. Okay, next up, still at 29, uh, Hello Jasper with uh, <clears throat> 1530 cycles. Another two arms. Theory on. min is 26, but is it possible? No idea. Glyph min is 26. Mm -hmm. Let's see what Shadow Cluster has. That's kind of an unfortunate outcome for Hello Jasper because I know that they're an area main in some sense and must have. Yeah, I guess it is a question Glyph whether Jessica. you can do everything with just a single debonder. Yeah, because uh, the thing with 26 area, that's one arm not on a track. Mm -hmm. Jasper saying that this was the one area, this is the one area layout that they checked. Mm -hmm. so I guess they committed 29 early, programmed it, called it a day. I see. And yeah, I mean, this is week zero after all, so yeah. it's not really a... You can spend time faffing about. <laughs> yeah, Shadow Cluster submitted a last minute solve. And so naturally, it's like 24 area. Uh -huh. <laughs> Shadow Cluster actually just submitted, uh, submitted an uh, overlap area solve, so it was going to beat us all. <laughs> and you could just juggle waste into the void. All right, next up is uh, Jay Gark, also at 29 area, uh, slightly faster at 1,486 cycles. We're starting to pile up at 29. This one is min glyphs, but uses a couple of extra hexes of area, one of which is marked by... I mean, technology. not technically min glyphs. You can use with one less track. Yeah, I guess track, since it's not in the glyphs section, Oh yeah, fair. It's not normally counted as a glyph. It's not minimum tiles. Mm -hmm. Minimum parts, uh, what you'd call it. Well, I guess the track, yeah, whatever. <laughs> minimum parts is accurate. Minimum parts, yeah. This one has one track too many to be minimum parts. Toby claims this is a wrong use of Critelli. 
<laughs> Indeed. Yeah, low on regrabs. It tends to be grabbing the thing that it's going to debond into the boat. Which, yeah, so like when you're optimizing cycle secondary on area, the number of regrabs is very important. Because every time you regrab, that's a cycle you waste not moving anything around. And especially if you only have a few arms, you also have to, you know, move the arm into position to do the new grab, so. <clears throat> Alright, so the next one, we're going to drop down one area to 28. Solution Never mind about the pileup. <laughs> Cavalarian. <laughs> so here we again have uh, min glyphs, but now it's just one Ooh, area. One EQ. Two, uh, two arms. Over. Yeah, two arms. Doing a lot of spinning here. I thought two arms were supposed to be faster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess this is the slowest 28 area solve. It's two arms. Maybe uh, everyone at this area used two arms or something. One half access bonder? Yeah, it's a half access bonder. It's the. Arm 2 can't reach that far. <laughs> yeah, I guess this one also spends a bit of time rotating things around, so maybe there's a way to do it faster in the same area. Quite as much it doesn't do enough paral parallelization of tasks. Or just a lot of regrabs, you know, like you can see in that this too. section, it's just sort of regrabbing and moving around a lot. Except in that it's rearranging it into the right station. Yeah, that's true. The fastest. But uh, there are, in fact, more 20 area assaults. Fastest 28. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that would be scary to hear. We're only at 19th place. <laughs> this one's from Gecko. Um, area version 2. So Gecko's another playtester. Can't imagine a lower primary? Well, I have bad news for you. <laughs> Um, so notes on this one, I figured the more compact reagent was likely to be the optimal choice because the tendrils of the other one looked nasty to work with. I never really attempted one debonder because it looked quite difficult, but after one or two layout iterations was able to program a two debonder layout to completion. Very little cycles optimization. So yeah, this one is using only one arm, but two debonders. It's just in one arm is faster than two arms. Apparently, or two D bonders is faster than one D. That one. Yeah, but the other one sounds fun here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm sure I could add an arm to this solve and get a faster twenty nine. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and I guess this is indirect calcification. And yeah, it's it's zero axis, but that's not saying much for calcification. Right. And one Just of the debunders. make a little stick and poke at it. Mm -hmm. That stick could be the final product. <laughs> right. Yeah, that, that's true. <laughs> I mean, I guess you can just you know leave an atom on the input. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next up is RPO. Deadline pressure is the best pressure. Uh, another 20. <laughs> this one is interesting. We got three track. Crunch hour. RPO was starting at uh, one hour before deadline. Mm. Oh, wait. Gecko is uh, Gecko's another playtester. Right, yeah. The um, playtesters were Gecko, Six, Haxton, and uh, Shadow Cluster. Sad to see Six not competing since they haven't participated in a tourney before. Yeah. But I'm happy to have them as a playtester. <laughs> mm -hmm. So yeah, apparently uh, one debonder is faster than two. Or maybe three track is faster than none. <laughs> That's also you possible. cannot win. <laughs> And yeah, I guess all of the glyphs, because of all the track, all of the glyphs are full access, which uh, I guess makes sense for a last minute oh, yeah. solve. It makes 
things uh it's tricky so continuing on with uh 20 and area solves we have john john at 18 13 cycles now we're back to two two well, bombers being well flex, since they said they were confident <clears throat> Seems to be kind of a pattern with these uh, 28 area solves to have uh, the bonder debonder around the arm and then another debonder somewhere else to handle it. Uh... Mm -hmm. Yeah, two debonders is easy to work with. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I guess it can debond that sort of uh, all that shape. Y shape right away from the product. Yep. My identical first move is Gecko's, yeah. Alright, so now we have a drop from 28 to 27 at 16th place. Alright, here we go. Here we go. From username Void. <clears throat> so in 27 I guess area, this is possible. <laughs> yeah, uh, so notes are a no axis bonder makes this layout atrocious, but it's 27 area. Um, so yeah, for 27 area, you have um, no room for an extra debonder. So you. I think no axis bonder is the bad part about this. You gotta build so much structure to to join the final product. No, just like two, like two atom. It's just four atoms worth. Still, I'm <laughs> I'm interested to see how this works. <laughs> but yeah, for 27, you have uh, only enough space for one extra thing. Usually that's track or another arm. Curious to see if any of them have two arms. Probably just not enough layout exploration on my part, but it might be possible. And yeah, I have to be very careful about keeping that Output suppressed here. And there we go, yeah. Oh, I see why this would take a lot of time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, reaching the calcifier is another structure reason. Yeah, the calcifier is, I think, is the bigger problem here. It's a pretty crafty calcification method. If you're going to use that area, might as well use it for calcification too. Yeah, it's, it's cool how it stores the output parts as these tube long pieces. I mean, how does cost to? Right, yeah. Because <clears throat> there's no way to bond it. No access, yeah. <laughs> uh... But it just makes it more awkward to have to... Because it can't touch the, yeah. can't touch the bonder. Yeah. Because it's a no access bonder, not a half access one, so... Right. Kind of reminds me of... Uh, I, I think it was a like cost solve. Like I think it was your t tournament, Biggie. Uh, my I think it was week one cost solve. Yes, your potent potables. <laughs> which you were talking about the design principles for this puzzle, and my design principles for potent potables was it has the same input atoms, but I just make them random assi random assortments of shape. Uh huh. The the assortments came out pretty good for the puzzle, but yeah, you were the one who decided to do half access bonder <laughs> instead of half access half access debonder. Yeah, which I, made a difference yeah. of about five x the cycle count. Right, like I'm not a, a cost person. I thought, oh, this is just how cost is. Like, respect to these cost Dang. people who are doing all this work, but so I took the hard way. All right, so next up is pizzazz, uh, slightly faster. No f access or no. Uh, there's full access to both of the bonder thousand. and bonder. <laughs> thousand cycles. <laughs> um, this, the notes are improved version of good with less cycles, so I guess good was a previous submission. Shout out to the time that you got optimal primary and secondary with output behind input. <laughs> Is this... Oh, I was wondering if the first move was going to be a spin. 
must then rotate. That would have been interesting. And yeah, very uh, easy, uh, no access calcification, just rotates the <clears throat> yeah. water over it. So yeah, this... Hugh Toby saying that the slowest 27 is faster than their solve means that Hugh Toby has a 26, right? Right, that's what he means in chat. It's below my cycle count. Uh, were you talking about a 28? Pretty sure he's talking about username voids 27. Okay. Well, the, the question is answered. Uh, C was a good year. Hi, mom. At 2019, C. No, 26 as of now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, Hirobi has a. Hirobi was next. <laughs> I'm probably next, unless we have like decreasing differences in cycle count going down. Mm -hmm. Fingers crossed. So yeah, I guess I should be paying attention to what shapes are being made here. There's like this five long thing. It shows the... Uh, oh, interesting. It <clears throat> debonds the output, grabbing the other side. Yeah, so it makes this five thing, debonds one thing. There's a lot more layouts than I thought would be possible. This one has the half access bonder, so it has to do one little thing at the end, but that's not even a huge deal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, well, next up. We have three hours solve. Let's go. I'm none other than Shadow Three hours solve. Yay, I beat Shadow Cluster. <laughs> oh, barely. So this is a different debonding pattern than the last one. <clears throat> yeah, interesting. It does have I, access. I guess you have a lot of space to pull the input in. This one is a single point on the ah frontier of A. Oh, like height? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I don't know about 26. If Shadow Cluster if I have 26. Yeah, I know, right? He usually searches for primary first. Mm-hmm. Like, it's not that surprising uh, not to be at uh, min secondary, but I don't know. Uh, no, no notes. Next up, also at 27, we have Caliuresis with a not me yet. very distant <laughs> okay. bonder there. Wonder if this is going to involve some more weird stuff. Yeah, this is a distant bonder. This is reminding me of my song. But it be fast, which is surprising. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, it does that. Okay. <laughs> Crash? Or is it just on my end? Um, there was a bit of a lag, but it's not crashed. It's crashed for me. Just refresh. Uh, what happened? Your stream is sometimes off. doing a, a thing. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully the recording's clean. Yeah, it should be. I definitely expect to be next. <clears throat> Are people seeing weirdness with the stream, like lag and stuff? It's very rare. Uh, I see. Yeah, it happens, but not like often. 
I'll definitely next have to mess with that for the next seven one. cycles. Just to keep defining. 1807 is your guess? This is, you're, you're close. It's 1803. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Uh, notes are, it's 27 area, it works, and also it's 16 now. Is the Cretelli under the disposal? Yes. That's the only explanation for the name that makes sense. Indeed. <laughs> I still use old terminology, all right, Mara? <laughs> Teaching an old cat new tricks or something. <laughs> but yeah, I guess this one is doing the same thing with the debonder, no access. Yeah, that's a no or, access. I mean, a, that's a oh. no access bonder and no access uh, calcification glyph. Uh, 16 means that it's uh, coded out to all six of the products. Usually you I think can... Hello Jasper is serious. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> yeah, I kind of like tea better as well, but I, I don't really care that much, so... I'm just used to saying it. Yeah. I'm going to probably adjust eventually. <clears throat> All right, next up is uh, Newchar with 1762. New solution oh, one. Managed to put the out. output in the middle of the, or no, whatever. This is Shadow Cluster's layout exactly. Yeah. Program letter. <laughs> yeah, it's even making the same shapes, which I guess makes sense since it's the same layout. I think this bond, when you remove the mores, is different. Or maybe it isn't. I don't remember exactly. I just remember those three, uh, bent three shapes. Where was, uh... Is there going to be a Zorflax week zero area win again? Where was uh, Shadow Cluster's Critelli? So you can compare them on that basis as well. I don't remember. It might be in the same place, I don't remember. Yeah. Maybe it was just in the default spot or underneath something. But yeah, other input is red herring. And also for Biggie to program a cycle solution for. Hmm. Okay, next up is Mr. Puzzle. <laughs> what? 1681. Up ten, Mr. Puzzle. Ooh, interesting layout. I, wait, we've seen this one before, right? Looks familiar. Sure. Oh yeah, the other input, uh it's supposed to be like stabilized water. It's the same puzzle. Yeah, it's definitely the same puzzle, totally. <laughs> There's Someone no in chat did suggest that if you had two inputs where one of them had more atoms, but the other one had a better density, like clumping them all together so that it would maybe easier to work with your area, mm -hmm. then you would have some utility for each of them. But right now there's one that Ooh, was yeah, that would have more atoms a and a little bit more airy to even maneuver. Yeah, maybe, yeah, someone, someone can make that puzzle for the weeklies or something. So yeah, it seems like all of the um, solutions so far have been uh, an arm on a track. Yeah, because I don't know if there's space, like movement space for two arms. Mm -hmm. Let's see, next up is whoosh, whoosh, with two arms. I actually did not know this was happening. <laughs> I did not know ahead of time that this one had two arms. We did, yeah, we're probably going to see two arms. <laughs> Laid out like this makes sense.
has to and pass one of the arms can't even reach the disposal. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's like, but it's the only one that can reach the output. Right. And it's spending a lot of its time juggling that uh, atom around. Yeah. Yeah, it does have to do a little bit of work to calcify. It can't just uh, rotate. It has to bond it to something. It also can't calcify with intermediaries. Right, yeah. Or doesn't. Does it calcify with intermediaries? No, it, it makes a stick with a gold and two. Yeah, it uh, rearranges water. it into a stick instead of just using... Okay, next up is Not Great, Area 2 made with OM clone. There are a surprising number of layouts for this. Uh, I guess it's just two arm solutions now. Interesting bond replacement. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I guess because you can reach everything else, you don't need the bonder until the very end. Yeah, just but like, like I, I'd imagine having it being in the middle just means some more swing space to use. You're right, that's true. But I guess it's just because of the reach of the piston arms that this would be more advantageous. Yeah, and the fact that you're able to s spin it around like that to get all the debonds. Like a pretty close swing. <laughs> Alright, now at number seven, Zandorf. 1204 cycles. Yeah, I guess they are all two arm. This one seems to divide up the work better than the previous ones. Oh, yeah. None of the two arm solutions have like both have axes disposal so far though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like there it has to pass off an atom where it would have been better for it to actually just put it straight in. Yeah, definitely lots of access. Sometimes just layout makes that hard to act. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with how well this worked out as an area puzzle. It was not designed for any particular yeah. metrics. So. Number six uh, is Velvicane, 1148 cycles. Uh, there's notes, uh, half axis bonder, tight input suppression around cycle 51, plus uh, every 193 cycles after. Uh, 6T saved one cycle. Wow. <laughs> Dedication. <laughs> oh, and there's the half axis bonder, yeah. Access bonders are too difficult. Yeah, I just do that. Who's left? We have Goodbye Galaxy left, right? Goodbye Galaxy submit for area. They seem to have some opinions about area that would come from working with it. Maybe they Oh, they did. Next at number five is Fiesta. Eleven forty seven. Wait. What was the previous one? Is this like one cycle off? I'm misremembering. 
I don't want to alt-tab because then it'll reveal everything. Anyway, there's notes for this one. Deconstruction area layouts seem quite a bit easier to explore than construction ones because the hardest rotations happen very early in the tape. So I was able to find this 26... Yeah. Wait. Find this 26 very quickly, mostly by studying the constrained geometry of the earliest debonding moves, placing the debonder accordingly, and then filling in with glyph and arm spots. In that narrow domain, the biggest challenge was finding arm locations that could communicate so the last waste atom could be passed to the arm's disposal axis. I looked for other 27 layouts, but kept running into access problems. In the end, I didn't find any, so I sped this one up by about 100 cycles and called it good. I'll bet against 26 being possible, as the access problems seem too gnarly, and there seems to not be enough translation yeah. directions available with only a single arm. But I also bet folks can go quite a bit faster at 27. There's a fair amount of dead tape in my program. <clears throat> Yeah, another right. thing with with just twenty six is that you don't really get that much freedom in movement of uh, movement direction. Mm -hmm. I really like when the six atom shell lands over the triangle pretty early on. Mm -hmm. It's just like everything comes together in a specific way, and it's a, it's appealing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of cool pivoting. Very satisfying to watch. Okay, next up we have Yoyo Nova. Number four. Yeah. 1033 cycles. Instant, really skilled player. <laughs> the title Dynamic or Duo. <laughs> Probably there was a dynamic duo, two arm solve, and they found a better two arm solve. Yeah, I think <laughs> I think that's true. Yeah, very nice showing from Yoyo Nova. Very. Player to watch out for. Scoring weeks. I actually have yet to pop up. Oh, is it that far behind? What was that? What? I mean, what? just... What's yet if, to pop up? If either of them submitted, they would be in the future, right? What are you talking about? I'm confused. Zorfax and Goodbye Galaxy have not showed up. Oh. And I guess we're at number four. Interesting. Zorfax oh. is very confident. Here's so they're all in top three. Goodbye Galaxy at number three. At sub 1000 oh. cycles. Do you have a solve for Madmaster yet? I don't remember seeing one. Okay, some of the debonding on this one is just weird. several consecutive cycles just going to the next atom that's already available and debonding and mm -hmm. putting it in the hole. Yeah, like that triangle just spins it around. And there's one cycle where it does this like wiggle where it's grabbing the water and it does a wiggle. I'm curious what's going on with that. I guess that's Spec when it's- letting us know in chat that they also haven't come up yet, but this is almost there. Oh, oh. I see. <laughs> <laughs> well, Zorfax via Spect. Will Zorfax continue his streak of winning week zero area? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that was 954. 
And now we have 933 from Spec98. Yo. I've been Dorfax continues the streak. Uh <laughs> I've been trying and getting close to get uh, 26 area, but only later realized that you need calcification. So 27 is min, unless there's somehow a one-arm layout, but I don't think that's possible. I still think 26 would have been possible if you didn't need it, though. You know how we map the Torito Frontier for Stabilized Water so thoroughly? Let's do that for Stabilized Waters version 2. Endgame. <laughs> oh no. Oh yeah, is oh, Endgame no. going to be in the uh, uh, leaderboard now? <laughs> it probably, probably will. It's interesting enough. <laughs> Very good. We already have metrics for it. But yeah, no, this does look very similar. It has that same triangle shape. So it debonds it in a slightly different way. But yeah, very nice solve. So in first place, we have Zorflax. Zorflax. Guess what the area is? Holy oh shit. my gosh. Oh, oh my god. That's such a oh. cool reveal. That's so cool. Very good job, Zorflex. So here's here's his notes. Shadow Cluster, you've got beaten by area primary. <laughs> yeah, our latent area main. Analysis. This solve debonds the final seven atoms in completely different ways. One that calcifies and one that doesn't. Amusingly, they're exactly as fast as each other. The one that doesn't calcify has a very oh, clear latency okay. advantage and further 6p potential, so that one outputs. Origin story. Initially, I assumed 27 was mid. So I programmed a two-piston solve, thinking it would be quicker, only to realize that one of the pistons was never needed, and I was sitting on a 26 the whole time. I then Ow. cut over 200 cycles through a ridiculous number of micro-optimizations. Sorry, Panic. It's, it's fine. The website deals with it. An uncontested primary win on area in 2023. We're still in new... Yeah. Should have tried for it. <laughs> it's it's possible. It's possible. No wonder they were. No wonder Zerflex was like. Oh, he's saying he was really excited to see how he could have been beaten. Because mm -hmm. he couldn't have. <laughs> also, very good Cretelli, if I do say so myself. Oh yeah. I mean, sometimes you just stumble upon a layout and like think, yeah, everyone's going to have this layout. I better optimize my cycles. Mm -hmm. Solving the final seven atoms in two different ways to get a salt or a water out is also galaxy brain. Because then you don't have to have yeah, the like, cycles optimization. Mm -hmm. Good point. Australia, Australia still holds the area crown. <laughs> <laughs> but are we going to have an Opus Spider World Cup at some point? <laughs> oh yeah, where the different countries compete. I don't know, I, I feel like Germany is pretty... Uh, I'm alone, can I team up with Singapore? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yeah, as a country, Australia is not very area optimized. It has a whole ton of nearly unused space. Oh wait, I don't. I don't think I would say this. But can I, but can I team up with China? Oh yeah, <laughs> they have Jin Yu. Controversy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, very good job, Zorflax. Here, I'll let this uh, run to the victory screen to commemorate this uh, moment. Fifteen sixty cycles. <clears throat> Congratulations. So now let me switch out for the showcase solves. Which we have a few here. Is this Steven Dutchmar? Hmm? 
Oh yeah. Mara says that uh, she has Steven to help her. Okay, so what you've all really been waiting for. Steven, <laughs> Steven, Steven, Steven. <laughs> I am so prepped for 2021. 5450 cost, 325 cycles, 2989 area. I have no idea what we're in for here. Where are even the inputs? Here they are. Well, let me restart this. <clears throat> okay. So prepped for 2021. Mm, yes. Let's see where we're going here. Totally what the year we're in. Sorry if the stream is not keeping up with all this. <laughs> I don't... I don't even know. <laughs> Steven is impressive. <laughs> I think I need zoom mod for this. Help. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Line look at this. swings around. Anybody, anybody uh, recognize this? Oh no, super conductive. <laughs> That's what Steven meant by, there are three other products, right? You're supposed to make all four of them. Three yeah. other products. Where's the other ones? Where's the oh other my ones? God. Okay, I have to restart it. This is lagging too much. Okay, let's follow this one. This one? Oh, that's the main one. <laughs> the intended product. Where? Here we go. Here's another path. Slow down. Oh, here we go. I think this would be a great time to advertise Zuma again <laughs> and Opus Mati in general. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's up there? Is that Elemental Joe setting? Yeah, that does appear to be what it is. It's like Why? hard to even pan <laughs> here. Where did it go? Okay, the arrangement of atoms is so perfect for elemental jewel setting, though. I see why Stephen says, I am so prepped for 2021. These are all 2021 puzzles. Okay, here's... What was this one called? This was elemental jewel setting. Another one superconductive oh, copper. Yeah, super one conductive is the 2021 copper, yeah. weeklies, and one is the 2021 tournament. So what's the other one? Uh, Stabilize water. Oh, this is just before... It's three outputs, right? Yeah, what's the third one? Oh, yeah, stabilized water. Stabilized water. <laughs> oh, no, Steven says to the right. There's more. Okay. Super anesthetic, super reactive gold. Trash jewel setting. Super reactive gold. Where is that? What is that? Oh, I mean, uh, which, which one's super reactive? Oh, gold? maybe it's this one. Oh, it's just two strings. Yeah. Just two strings of the super reactive. We, finally, I understand. Right, I see. <laughs> I, it, this really did work out well with the elemental jewel setting. Mm -hmm. And we've reached the victory screen. To long last. <laughs> I mean, 325 seconds. It's not that much. <laughs> yeah, it's a very optimized. Just lags the game. <laughs> All right. Thank you for that, Steven. All right. So next is from 42 Genius 42. Great railgun, 10 cycles faster, same rate. Oh, uses the other input. Oh, I see. So it, yeah, it optimizes the first output by taking just the water from the other input. <clears throat> Based on an earlier version of the submitted machine, uh, rate is still 20. It has conditional arms that take water atoms, e either outputting if product made or replacing single water atom for the product. So yeah, conditional logic here to handle that first case. A slightly better cycles. Mm -hmm.
Now, speaking of speeding up the first product, we have a solve from Biggie Mac. Low effort <laughs> Lexi 9 3. Oh. Yeah, it's min latency. The second output, I can't prove it's not possible to have a second output on 11, but I didn't succeed. So it's just outputting every three cycles, starting with min latency. And it does have a lot of waste, but it never crashes into its waste. So it runs forever. Nice. So here's one input, here's the other. Yeah, it's just debonding, pulling it out. Oh, the other one was on top. And yeah, it's a 12 cycle loop too, so the three period arms are all four to a track loop, and then there's some waste handling that's every six. Mm -hmm. And yeah, this notation, if you're not familiar, 9-3 means it drops uh, the first product at cycle nine and then repeats every three, <clears throat> dropping a product. And lots of waste here. <laughs> I think I remarked to Biggie that's a reasonable amount of waste or something. And uh... reasonable, yes. Yeah, it just you know has waste. That's the this puzzle. Average cycle solver waste. Yeah, again, it is it is ultimately my uh, my fault here that... with this. Mm. <laughs> Next up, delicious, we have delicious waste. A width solve from Jason. With six, as in version six, but also with six p. So lots of uh, width style waste chains, which you don't see too with often. Four. Oh, an old version. Maybe we'll let, let me alt tab real quick. Oh yeah, there's another one here. So yeah, in, in showcase uh, things don't really get overridden. So. Oh yeah. I guess if you do, if you want to submit showcase and like override another one, just uh, like send me a DM or something, and uh, I'll skip the other one. Yeah, panic could delete them for you. Yeah. I see. Yeah. So this is the most up to date version. I do like seeing uh, with style waste chains. <laughs> mm -hmm. Pretty interesting. I guess you could rotate it to be really solve. See them going. Kind of fun. All right. Next, we have an instruction solve, Toby. Does use both inputs. <clears throat> oh, makes the final bond very early. I uh, you told me it said something like the uh, the last thing that I submitted has a metric in some primary of three, and I thought, oh, that's three I solved. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And uh, no need to dispose of everything; just leave them lying around. Just dispose of the ones you're grabbing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bond the rest. As sort of a slight angled waste chain. An as needed waste chain. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but like, yeah, it's, it doesn't have a steady state height. Yeah, I think that's. I think we've seen enough. Good job, Utobi. Now we have another width solve. This one from Spiritual Shampoo. So we found this also for. Uh, I think so. 
Yeah, because yes. arm, the part with arm 6 and arm 8 is 4. Yeah, if it's consistent all the way through, then it is 4. Which it does yeah. seem to be. It's at. I don't know why I like looking at these waist chains so much. Alright, and then a height solve, also by Spiritual Shampoo. It's four height. Four is kind of enough height to do a lot, so it's just kind of yeah. how quickly can you get the input out. Right. Is there any other interesting secondary for height other than cycles? Height gold is interesting, although probably Shadow Cluster and Nuchar is there. Not Nuchar, Shadow Clusters and one other person I'm blinking. Their area solves in four height might have been gold also. I think height yeah. rate might be interesting for this puzzle, I'm not sure. But... It's kind of the same as height cycles. Both. Yeah. Um, instructions from Spiritual Shampoo? This one uses only one input. So, let's see how it works. It also has a three arm, interestingly. Yeah, I noticed that it also has a tri arm. I... Is this slower? I can't tell. Uh, let's see. Just the other one does two at once, but this one has it a is, shorter loop. It is slower, yeah. Damn. <laughs> well, I see some solves. Ah, uh, this is... Well, yeah, it wins IG. Yeah, and this is a similar concept to some of the area solves where you have that suspender. A little mini waist chain over here. All right, some from uh, Mr. Puzzle. This is a sum of 521. It's a, area is definitely a consideration. It's kind of rare for some. Cool. Did you cook by galaxy submit for some? I'm not sure. Let's see. And, oh yeah, the notes are almost 30 points better than my other sum, but no longer finite. So I guess there's another sum that was finite. Maybe we'll see it in the list? I'm not sure. You just sent your medium vibes, yeah. Goodbye Galaxy says, yes, smile. So I'm thinking maybe uh, he... I'm assuming it's better. <laughs> ...has improved on this. Um... I'm trying to see if it's in the list, I guess. It's not soon, so I'll just go to the next one, which is OC by Spiritual Shampoo. Oh! <laughs> Look at that again. That is cool. It loaded for oh, oh, okay. It hadn't loaded for us. Uh -huh. Damn. <laughs> Oh, amazing, it's actually legal count of disposals. <laughs> right, only yeah. Only the single disposal and not trying to do 22 disposers. Yeah, that... That, that... would be way too easy. <laughs> well, yeah, I wonder if we'll see that. So it would be very funny looking, for sure. Star around arm two, yeah, yeah. Uh, here's another OC by Bambi. So that one was 7C, this one is also 7C. Very similar idea, though all the ways seems to wow go on one side here. It's very quick production of ways. It's very chaotic, uh -huh. but you know it's good in its own way. 
Can it keep spinning? Uh, collides here. Were you talking about the previous solve? Yeah, compared to the previous solve. Oh, you mean? Oh, you mean the comments? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, here's yeah, another... that was about the previous solve. I see. I see. Here's another uh, overlap solve, overlap area from Mr. Puzzle. It's kind of cool. At three D forty six cycles. Uh oh. Is there any bonder? Oh yeah, there's a bonder here. Bonder here, bonder here. Yeah, one nice uh, uh, mod would be some way of seeing all the stacked stuff. It would be kind of difficult. I mean, you could do something like... you know, they're stacked. Right, right. You could do it like you mouse over it and it shows you like a little pop down of what's under it or something. Yeah, fair. I don't know. I think because uh, overlap area, I think, is a really cool category, but it's kind of hard to understand what's going on sometimes. Mm -hmm. Overlap in general. Uh huh. But area specifically, because often it's like you just have this huge nest of uh, overlap glyphs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So O frag, overlap, finite, RAG. So this is the first category, but overlap. And you still just have one disposal, so it's not any faster rate, but you do get to do it in 31 area. Oh, just draw all those glyphs in 3D? I feel like that would be a little bit hard to read, but it would probably look cool. I don't like, you know, those Lego diagrams where they tell you to stack bricks together. Uh-huh. And you have the, like, vertical lines through it to show where things are stacked. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Here's another OA at 13 area. This one, like, debonds a bunch of stuff right away. Oh, what? Are they... Oh, wait. Oh, I see, I see. It moves this here, and then it outputs right away. What kind of sorcery is that? Oh, yeah, so this is overlap. Uh, you can... Uh, <laughs> let's, let's, let me show you. You can overlap glyphs using this trick where you uh, put a glyph down, then you move it to delete it. You hold down Shift and select it. So now there's like a selection with the glyph you deleted, then you move it, and it comes back, and now you have this overlap. Uh, and you can, this, these overlap glyphs work just the same and they can trigger, like multiple ones can trigger in the same cycle. So you can make fun solutions like this. Faster, how fast was the other one? Oh, 346, yeah. Okay, here's Good by Galaxy Sun. Yeah, same area. So this is disposal tech sum 482. That's a pretty cheap something. Mm hmm Since these are sorted by cost. Yeah, this one's very balanced. Yeah, I was... That I was looking at Mr. Puzzles and thinking it probably was about 50 gold too, too expensive. This is actually 100 gold cheaper. Mm. <laughs> 482, yeah. Yeah, a typical strategy for optimizing sum is to make gold in cycles pretty close, or gilder in cycles. Uh, so this does that pretty well. And area is just sort of naturally large for this puzzle, so. But yeah, this is definitely like a cheap style of some solve where you just have a few arms <clears throat> and some track and, uh, yeah which I think makes sense for this, this puzzle 
Uh, also from Mr. Puzzle, we have finally some stabbing. 13 cycles. Clone duets. Boy. And using the. Oh, here we go. So, yeah, this is a. Uh... Duplication glitches? <laughs> or uh, glitches? Yeah, this is a very glitched solve. It never pulls anything more than the first input from both inputs, and <clears throat> just uses the fact that if a molecule is bonded earlier in the same cycle and you drop it on a conduit, it will go through the conduit, but also not go through the conduit, so you have a copy of the atom on the other side. So, yeah, that's what's happening here. This is the true instructions record. Yeah, 2i. I don't think it's possible to do better than that unless you spam disposals everywhere. <laughs> Finite area valid rate with zero disposals. Checkmate. True. Uh, Seven Storm, you can edit them into the solution file. You can't. There's no way to do it in the editor itself, but <clears throat> uh, you can add conduits to any solution. So here's another sum. Couldn't get a smaller sum without waste chaining. I see. So this is the other sum from Mr. Puzzle, which actually disposes everything. Which saves quite a bit of area, but increases the cycle count. That's nice. Yeah, this is a much nicer looking sum. I guess it's supposed to be the point of some, but... <laughs> uh, no overlap category for production puzzles? I don't know why that is. Okay, more sum. Disregard unless you want to demonstrate how silly my disposal tech is in the other one. Okay, sure. Uh, well, this is the last one anyway, so let's just look at it. So this is very similar to uh, the earlier solve. But I guess without they mentioned that if you added the uh, disposal to get rid of that one straggler atom at the bottom, it would come out three points ahead because uh, you could spend the 30 gold on the disposal and the arm and the debunder right. and lose a bunch of area. Right, because it's just taking up all this area for one. All right, cool. Well, that is all of the uh, all of the showcase solves. So thank you for all of those. Now, the uh, final part of the stream, I'm going to reveal week one. So week one is called self-pressurizing gas. Um, it's a quintessence puzzle. Start with quintessence, make a self-pressurizing gas, or whatever I called it in the lore essential breathing gas I think um, the metrics are sum and lexicographic cycles so lexicographic cycles you saw a little preview of it with uh, Biggie's um, showcase solve the idea is that you're trying to optimize first how quickly you can drop the first uh, product then if two solutions are tied and how quickly they drop the first product ties are resolved by how quickly you drop the second product and so on um, and if your solutions enter a steady state where they're dropping cycle uh, products on the same cycles, then you uh, are tied. And then ties are broken by um, area and cost, I believe. You can check the website to make sure I'm right on that. But yeah. And then sum is just the add, adding together the uh, cost cycles and area. So yeah, that is week one. And I'll put that live on the website now. Just find right open here. 
So that should be public now. And yeah, um, thank you all for joining me in this uh, kickoff stream for the 2023 tournament. And uh, thank you to uh, Vist and Biggie Mac for joining me on commentary. And everyone for your solves. Thank you. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in eight days and 21 hours when puzzles do.